Fiona Bruce and the Antiques Roadshow team travelled to Porchester Castle in Hampshire on Sunday's installment of the BBC One show. During the episode, a guest presented expert Paul Atterbury with a set of rare RAF medals awarded for extreme bravery to her father who served in Dunkirk and the Battle of Britain. However, when Paul revealed the staggering cost of the Second World War medals, the guest made it clear she had no intention of parting with them. The guest presented Paul with a photograph of her late father who volunteered for the RAF at the beginning of the war. There were two squadrons, 138, which he commanded and 161, and they were known as the Moonlight Squadrons because they only operated under the moonlight. The planes dropped agents as well as supplies to other undercover operations during the war. And of course, aeroplanes are quite noisy so you're flying quite low over the French countryside for a spot, Paul added. Immer Day legs it for Will Taylor as he becomes Mina's final victim? The guest interjected, and there'd be the French people with their torches. I met a lovely lady five or six years ago who, at age 17, was one of the French people who stood in a field and you wouldn't want to think what would have happened to her if she'd been caught. Paul stated the guest's dad would have been flying alone on his missions and many planes were shot down by the Germans. The guest explained the medals she wanted to be valued were for the Distinguished Service Order Medal with two bars, which meant he was given the award three times. The others were a Distinguished Flying Cross Medal, the Air Force Cross Medal a selection of standard Second World War medals, and the Virtuti Militari Medal which was renamed the Polish Military Medal. If we said that was an English Victoria Cross, people would be gasping, added Paul. It's just as important. The war arising which was a dark period in all our histories was taking place. In Warsaw, there was a Jewish ghetto that was sealed off by the Germans and isolated. Your father and other people were flying constantly in to keep the resistance and the uprising supplied. Many British crews were shot down while trying to deliver the supplies. Yellowstone's Carter Star pays touching tribute to Taylor Sheridan, latest Ozark season 4, Wendy exposed as fans spot her mouthing Ruth's line, update you were robbed the masked singer fans fume as Roba Bunny is unmasked, reaction, I've never seen one and not many people got one, and it was not for one act of bravery, it was for acts of continuous bravery, Paul explained. It's a remarkable collection, I've never seen anything like it. He then revealed just how much he thought the collection was worth today. Paul told his guest, it's quite simple, it's worth £20,000. As you know it's not going anywhere obviously, she quipped. As you know it's a very rare thing, he replied. The crowd started clapping to commend her father's bravery and the guest was left touched by the valuation. Antiques Roadshow continues Sunday at 7pm on BBC One.